In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify the tables in Design View and then create relationships between them, thereby creating a relational database. So let's go ahead and close table uh, donors if you have it open. We're going to start with table plants. You can right click here and go into Design View. First, we want to make sure that this field name ID actually matches what we set up in the table donations. So it needs to be changed to plant ID. We want to make sure that each ID is named in a way in which we can recognize it. We also need to make sure that this number is set to long integer, which we did on the import, um, so that when we create relationships between these two tables, the, the data type matches. It's very important that the data type matches between each of the primary keys. In this case, this field is a primary key in this table. And as we put it in our table donations as a foreign key here. So it needs to be the same. So let's go into our table donors at this point and make sure that our donor ID data type is also long integer. And then we can close all, saving if you get any prompts. Now we're going to take a look at the database tools and the relationships. So using shift, I'm going to select all three of the tables. And you can see that none of them are currently linked. We haven't created any relationships between them. Let's put the donations table here in the middle and we'll organize it as such so that we can see the links between the three tables. What we're basically going to do is take the primary key. So here our table donors has a primary key and it is related to the foreign key in our table donations. And let's just go ahead and create that relationship. And then we're going to do the same with the plant ID and create the relationship. When we edit these relationships, we have the option here to enforce referential integrity. This is really important. This is the type of relationship that is created. And if we enforce referential integrity, what we're saying is the plant IDs in our plant table matches the same IDs in the donation table and the data that's already in those two tables are connected. So they are referring to one another. So when we look at a plant, we want to see who it has been donated to. We can see that directly the relationship is made by using this enforced referential integrity. Two other options here are cascade update. That means if we need to update our related fields, it will, relate, it will update between both fields. So the reference will update on the foreign key side. And of course, if we change it in the, in the, as the primary key. And then the cascade delete records will delete the records if they're deleted from the primary table. So let's go ahead and click all those on. And now you'll see the one to many relationships. So we've got one plant can be given out to many donate in money donations. And then we'll do the same here, double clicking on that line to edit the relationship and selecting all three of those options to enforce referential integrity. Now we'll save and close. In the next video, I'm going to show in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, captions in our tables, add data integrity restrictions, and as well using the lookup list.